Consumer data, like financial and registration information, can provide ways to determine if particular leads have a higher intent to buy, something that simple lead scoring doesn't do. Lead scoring has that negative connotation, and so we call it within our product line, we call it lead intelligence, because that's really what it is. It's, it, people make more about the actual score, and they should be making more about the intelligence within that data match. And so you look at what comes from, you know, what ultimately drives the score. It's financial information, it's registration data, it's all of this yeah. interesting stuff that matches up that shows that this customer is the highest intent to buy. And so, you know, when we've done these studies, we just released uh, in a press release a week and a half ago, when we went after those high intent to buy, because it's their intelligent leads, and we would go after them and incent them, our buy rates were at 47%. When we didn't perform an execution on them, still high lead score, same lead intelligence factors, the buy rate was at about 28%. So that's, you know, when I make comments about execution on data, we can look at data all day long, whether it's this online or offline or, or lead intelligence. If there's not an action performed on it, it's just flat.